It's the biggest offshore race uh, in the world by, by quite a long way. It takes an incredible amount of organisation from volunteers, race team, competitors. We've got 450 boats. We have 2,800 uh, competitors registered with a few more to come. They're representing 49 countries around the world, which is an amazing stat in itself. This one will be my 25th, and I guess it's the 50th anniversary of the race, so I haven't missed too many over the last few years. This is my first time doing the Fastnet. We've done a couple uh, races so far, the Transatlantic, the Newport Bermuda, but what I've heard about this is that it's going to be wet, and it's going to be fast, and it's going to be windy. Well, the Rolex Fastnet race is iconic for all all yachtsmen all around the world and I never dreamed to actually be able to come over and race the race, let alone race my own boat. It's a challenge. I think we like challenges, we always have. And to do this, particularly the 50th anniversary of this race, makes it even more special. Hopefully we'll have quite a bit of wind for the return. And if that's the case, if we, if we can beat the record to the rock, I think we've got a chance to beat the record. There's no doubt we're going out into some breeze. I think, you know, even the even the conservative forecast is 30 odd knots of breeze. It's going to be wind against tide through the needles. It is going to be a very tough start to the race. We were talking last night at dinner about some of the fastest wind that we've been on and some of the races we've done before. And I'm hoping that getting up to 35 knots, this might be the most wind we've been in. 106 double-handed boats, and that's the IRC, not even including all of the Amokas. And there's some good boats and some very good sailors that are going to be going to be racing. Could take two and a half days, could take four and a half, and a lot longer for the smaller boats. I've got nothing but, but joy and, 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 and sheer pleasure from sailing the Fastnet race, rounding that rock. Going past the Fastnet rock, I think it's quite an iconic landmark. I think all of my friends and coworkers think we're slightly insane, but for us it is definitely something that's memorable and exciting. And a lot of people have put a lot of work in over probably two years, if not more, and it's all culminating in, in this year's Fastnet race. It's another boyhood dream, you know. I, all Australian literature when I grew up in the 60s was all British yachting. I read about cows, so this is the home of yachting. And to get this opportunity with my own little Aussie battler boat and my mates, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just it's incredibly emotional, incredibly exciting. They're all great sailors. We want everybody to have fun. Some of them will, will already be friends. We hope we can make some new friends with, with sailing. That's the way it's always been. I wish everybody the very best for the, for the race. People are definitely excited now. They're excited for the, the challenge ahead. I think the people most excited are the, the Corinthian crews, the ones that see this as their sort of Everest of, of sailing. They seem to be really keen enough for it, so we're pleased with that.